All right, first off, if you hate your own game project, it's okay. Everybody slightly hate their project at some point in time. There are people who shame creators for feeling this way because they are supposed to be 100% passionate about their game or whatever. Unfortunately, it's the mindset of somebody who have not created anything substantial before. A lot of your favorite creators do not just wake up every day and start shitting out rainbows. Some days suck, that's just life. I've been through severe burnout and intense crunch time on my own development. I like to think some of my tips will help you guys out. Tip number one, work on a side project. I think this scares a lot of people due to having a strong urge to finish their current game, but working on a side project really helps with burnout and not hate your game development process. I genuinely love the process of creating games, but when I have to do internal playtesting every day of the week, I start to hate it. But I love creating and releasing games. It's just when I'm stuck on the grind playtesting and polishing it, when I start to see all the flaws and repetitiveness. So when I'm ready to do a lot of playtesting, I actually start working on my next game. This split up my day more so I don't keep hating myself and my current game anymore. It reminds me why I love making games, even if some part can't suck. Tip number two, detox from the skill set in general. For me, this is playtesting. This is a weird one, but when I'm doing something I hate in game development, I start to withdraw from playing games in general. Granted, if a really great game is coming out, I will take a week off to play it. This helps me feel energized to work on games again. But on a normal week, I try to take a break from games in general after I make my game. Say if you are a programmer during the day, but you hate your game when you write scripts for your game. You likely need to write your scripts on the weekend so you don't overload your brain. Same goes for art, writing, etc. If you overload yourself that day, you will start to dislike it. So schedule yourself a bit of boundary and let your brain rest on that part of game development. Tip number three, delegate the task to someone else. This is definitely not possible for everything in your game development career just yet, but if you got money and you really hate doing something, then you should consider delegating. Life is short. If you can use some money to make game development a much more funner and enjoyable experience, then you should go for it. It's rare to find somebody wired to love every single process of game development as a solo developer. If you do, that's fine too, but I'm sure there is something you'd rather be doing than another certain task. You're gonna like one task more than the other. So delegating helps with this a lot. Tip four, you are burnt out and need a break. This is probably the most common advice you will hear. I think it does work, but it is kind of an overrated advice. My advice? Try to take a week off and come back. But if you start hating your project again in like a week, it means your game development process needs adjustment. Burnout comes from stress, not activity. It means you are doing something that's stressing you out, like you are not good enough at X or Y. When you truly enjoy something, you can do it every day. There is a reason why you are not burnt out watching YouTube videos or playing video games. Those are not stressful at all. If you take a break and come back, the task is still there. Something is wrong that you need to identify. But I will say that taking a break lets you replenish your dopamine so it does motivate you when you take that break. But it can deplete quickly when you are doing something you hate. Tip 5. You probably suck at whatever you are doing. This is totally fair when you are starting out, but you need to identify if it's a skill set you want to keep improving on or delegate it. Hating your own skill set and then your game is normal when you suck at something. If you want to keep improving at it, then keep doing it. That's how you become good. But you will naturally be passionate about something when you are good at the skill. I'll use myself as an example. I love game design creating levels, making the combat mechanics, etc. But I suck at art, and I dislike doing it. If I keep making art for my game, then of course I'm going to start hating on my game even more. That's an accurate assessment. Now, sometimes you have to do it. We are not exactly banking in money just yet. But try to avoid doing these tasks that you hate if you can. This also goes back to delegating. If I can find somebody who loves art, then I can avoid doing these tasks and hating my game again. This topic has been in my mind for years, so it's just nice to write it out and voice it out for you guys. 
I've been through many of these periods in my life, but I feel like I have the right philosophy and game development to get through it now. Good luck out there. Even if you hate your game, it doesn't mean it's a bad game. Keep working on it and release it one day. Hey, if you guys want to support the channel, make sure to wishlist Grey Heritage Noble Duty. It's part of the Grey Heritage series that I've made in SRPG Studio. If you guys want to play a released game, I also have Grey Heritage Faded Vision. Make sure to check those out. Links is in the description.